ghost and ghouls, Warlock Boo here. And I got another doozy of a Halloween story for you. This one is about never touch a jack-o'-lantern or mess with it, and it's why you should. This is the strange case of the jack-o'-lantern at the abandoned house by MechDog2395. Enjoy. <laughs> familiar with the history of the house, except to say that it looks like any other house on the street. The only difference is that it has been abandoned for many years. Also, every year on Halloween, a jack-o'-lantern appears on its front porch. No one knows who puts it there. Costume kids would walk up to the house, thinking someone will give them candy, but no one answers the door. One trick-or-treater, who is obviously annoyed, kicked the jack-o'-lantern over. The jack-o'-lantern rolled off the porch and disappeared into the tall grass beyond. The, childja, the child never returned home. Friends that were with him stated that he rounded a street corner just ahead of them and mysteriously vanished. Police scouted the area, but to no avail. The following year, the same jack-o'-lantern appeared on the front porch of their abandoned house again. A girl dressed in a little red riding hood outfit approached the house with her mother when no one answered the door. The mother, thinking that the culprit must have turned in, decided to snuff out the candle with the jack-o'-lantern. She figured she was doing the occupant a favor. Later that night, 911 got a strange phone call. A frantic young girl explained that her mother was being attacked by an invisible man. Police arrived at the home to find a young girl dressed in a little red riding hood costume crying and clutching onto a dead woman. The girl's mother was the victim of asphyxiation. No one was charged with the crime. By now the legend of the abandoned house with the mysterious jack-o'-lantern began to spread. Kids would dare each other to approach the house. One boy, Anthony Randall, took it upon himself to not only accept such a dare, but to take it a step further, he stomped on the jack-o'-lantern, pulverizing it. On the way home, Anthony was killed by hit and run. As in the cases above, no perpetrator was ever caught. I decided this year to stop, put a stop to this. I went to the abandoned house with two buckets filled with candy and a folding chair. I sat myself up next to the jack-o'-lantern and waited. I pleasantly greeted all the trick of cheaters that came by. As the evening came to a close, I looked at the jack-o'-lantern and said, There! You won't harm anyone this year! I had saved people from harm! Or so I thought. The following morning, I awoke in a bed that was not my own. My confusion quickly gave way to panic when I realized that I wasn't in my house. I was not I was in the abandoned house. I've been trying to get out of here for some time now, but the doors are bolted from the outside and I can't seem to break the windows. I pray someone will hear me and come to my rescue. But when I look out the front window, all I see is the jack-o'-lantern smiling at me. Oh my ghoulies, that may be a house you want to avoid and a reason not to destroy your neighbor's jack-o'-lantern. You never know what really placed it there and what may get mad at you. But if you like this, I got more coming all week. Or if this is past Halloween, hey, I got a bunch of stories you can listen to, too. But until then, this has been Warlock Boo, hoping to be spoken y'all later. Mm, bye. <laughs>